Now, reports of a six-year-long investigation into UK's blood scandal are out and the results are horrifying. Details from the probe reveal that authorities knowingly exposed victims to unacceptable risks and tried to cover it up and that led to the death of over 3,000 people in the UK. The report accuses the UK government and the National Health Services for letting patients catch HIV and hepatitis. The scandal dates back to the 1970s and 1980s when thousands of people needed blood transfusions for disease like hemophilia at the time. The NHS used a treatment which is called Factor 8, which was imported from the United States. But here's the catch. Among a pool of donors, the plasma was also collected from high-risk donors such as prisoners and drug addicts infecting the patients with hepatitis and HIV, a disease unknown at the time. As per reports, the number of people infected is over 30,000. At least 3,000 have since died and more deaths can follow. In case of detrimental impact on a long-term basis, the report reveals the UK authorities ignored series of warnings against importing the blood transfusions. Tragically, the infections happened because those in authority, doctors, the blood services and successive governments, did not put patient safety first. They lost sight of what was known about the risks of viral infections from blood. Doctor Knows Best was such a strong belief that health departments did not issue guidance to curb the unsafe use of blood and blood products. Decision making on measures that could make blood and blood products safer was put off, then dragged out unnecessarily and failed to reach clear and decisive conclusions. The report alleges that there had been a lack of openness, inquiry, accountability and elements of downright deception, including destroying documents. Patients were not informed about the risks of their treatment. The lack of information meant that people were not aware of how likely they were to be exposed to infections. Reports suggest school children, some as young as two years old, were subjected to medical trials using infected blood products. A public inquiry was announced by the government under then Prime Minister Theresa May in 2017. The government has already paid £100,000 of interim compensation to the victims, to some of the victims, and this is a fraction of an estimated cost of around £400 million as per recommendations from the inquiry in 2022. However, those who have been in affected are still calling for justice, compensation and answers over how it was allowed to happen despite warnings over the risks. Responding to the report's findings, UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has apologised for the infected blood scandal, describing them, describing it as a day of shame for the British state. On behalf of this and every government stretching back to the 1970s, I am truly sorry. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.